used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, um, sorry. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. Why are you even talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check out. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're Fine, just. Hold the camera out, like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex, just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Here's good. There, great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? What radio? That little, you know, the little, it almost looks like a toy. The, uh, oh, oh, you're joking. Just bring it out, will you? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about... Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so 
Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Yeah, sure. Really? Since when do you smoke? Last time you tried it, I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. Being polite, you should try it sometime. Okay, just remember, aim to throw up in the water. Here's the smoke if you want it. Or... <coughs> you all right? <coughs> They're filtered. <sighs> yeah, no, it's just been a while. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just, that's kind of... It'll take three... Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. No, it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. Oh, stop it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so yeah, this... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. It's kinda kitschy, right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure. Either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. This was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but like 102.3? I, I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. I think they said it's 102.3. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Parks and Facilities Office. Ren's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, all right. Man, they close up early. 
I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper acts. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're... It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the- I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the op, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look, there must be something. I mean, if Jerry got over. Yeah, exactly. Jonah. Did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... Don't get too used to her. And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh, I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want, forget I said anything. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. I can tell I'm gonna have a really good time. <laughs> well, uh, we'll stop now. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Why wouldn't I? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh... Yeah, this is his first night here, so everybody be on your best behavior. Treat him as you would a scary dog. Palms out. <laughs> that's, um... I don't bite. It's fine. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Uh... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... 
Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Ugh, come on, Clarissa. I'm fun. I'm hip. I'm with it. Listen to yourself. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the hey, picture. what about me? What about you? Oh, I get it. I'm not even on the spectrum. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20-deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend, and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about... Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime, in her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever truth, All right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no. just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This one... Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomach ache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think <laughs> about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Why, thank you. I'd probably marry Clarissa. <laughs> okay, why, right there? I mean, why in God's name would you marry me, of all people? What? You're a catch! Redheads are like the rarest breed. She's not a horse. Yeah, but still. Oh, well, you can dust the top of my trophy case when I don't want to drag out the step stool. Ugh, whatever, who cares? <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's on it. Ugh, oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. And wait, wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. And I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I say. Okay, settle down. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. Mm, that'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. 
Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Uh, what's the matter? It's an honest question. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's den. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, Uh, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. But how- You know why. Michael- died, and it broke everything, and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die, and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Fine. Whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not going to let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission to be Pouty. Thank you. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots. Exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, I'll push you over. <laughs> oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever never you're ready. Oh, so, what, they're the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it going to be? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. I think you should go for it. Oh, yeah? And girls like to feel... Uh, wanted, you know? We want to be romanced. We don't want to play games. Oh, all right. I see where your head's at. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brown... Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here and just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. It's 
even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. It must be, uh, like... My running theory has always been like traffic reports from another galaxy, but, you know, if you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but... They... they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. It was for a couple of months a year and a half ago. Whatever, she never liked me. Not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Sounds so. Yeah, it sounds. Uh. It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like. This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. Uh, I... yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like. A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Bye. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. I bring an ashtray down here, or a pen. See 
a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Jesus, you scared me. Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought... I thought I heard somebody down here, but... You know, obviously there isn't. But isn't this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this... how this happens. No, it's... Uh, it's beautiful. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. Okay, at this point, if we stay, we're just idiots, right? We're just the horror movie morons the audience screams at to leave. <laughs> no... Maybe. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others, and if it's not, we'll just leave. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. Pockets of it are... What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light thing? Um, yes. It, it must be like a... like a rainbow, or like a lef reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Uh, maybe? Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either, so I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in... Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Alex, just... Look, I think you tuned in the triangle when we were outside. So let's see what else happens if you tweak the dial some more. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. This is insane. Uh, who... 
Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bobtail. Shave. Tail. Sleep me. Time. Time. Down. Is. Possible. Um, yeah. Sure. Leave possible. Bobtail. Leave, children. Bye. Others. See you soon. Alex! Alex? Are you okay? You alright? I thought you were- uh, What happened? That is a very good question. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever, like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I wanna climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. I don't wanna be the party pooper here, but the party just kinda pooped itself. We can't leave without my friends, okay? You're... <sighs> Ren, sure, but does that list really include Clarissa? I'm not saying leave her, but I just want to get this whole escape thing moving. We can't leave anybody behind. They're here somewhere. This is not... This is not a thing. Okay, okay. Harden Tower. Oh, it's called that, I think because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Hardin. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Hardin? <laughs> oh, uh, grow up. Oh, come on, you know that's amazing. Dick Hardin, and they named a tower after him? It's all right, it's a soaker. You'll get it later. Oh, and not for nothing. I'm fine with a little de-pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. So, if it is, the time to come clean is- Christ! I'm as freaked out as you are, Jonas, alright? I have a splitting headache and like... I feel like my fingernails are gonna shoot out of my hands. Mine too. Just cross your fingers the comm tower has a working walkie-talkie or something. Any equipment it'll have will be, like, 80 years old. I don't know if I trust that. Even if it doesn't work, maybe we can get reception on our phones or something. But it's right here, and I want to try it. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. What do you think happened to them? <sighs> They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. Great. It's locked. Let me try. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you. If you want to do things the easy way, sure. How does this thing... Warning, do not use aboard ship. Unsafe radiation limits. You know, I'd normally find this stuff kind of interesting, really. You know, normally. You don't have to make me feel better about getting you trapped on Horror Island. Horror Island? It sounds a little different than what we're on right now. Uh, no. Just forget it. 